Number 1. Boxer Arm FFG At the 2019 Defense and Security Equipment International Exhibition DSEI 2019, in London, Germany's Flensburger Fahrzeugbau Gesellschaft FFG, presented an Armored Recovery Mission Module ARM for the Boxer. The kit is designed to be fitted on a Boxer Drive module and to have an organic recovery capability for operators. Various mission modules have now been developed for the Boxer depending on the national usage concept, which is used globally in various versions. The module for recovery is armored and weighs approximately 13 tons. The 5.3 meter long pivoting crane boom can lift up to 20 tons and is located at the rear of the recovery module. It can perform all traditional maintenance and recovery activities, including the lifting of vehicles for wheel changes, such as adjusting weapons turrets, engines, or mission modules, including its own. A modern capstan winch, with a Kevlar rope of 60 meters and a pulling force of 20 tons, for recovery and for self-recovery, is the second important part. Control and monitoring of all systems are conducted centrally via touchscreen displays and proprietary FFG software. Number 2. M9 ACE – BMY Combat Systems A highly mobile, fully tracked armored earth mover, the M9 ACE is capable of supporting forces in both offensive and defensive operations. To improve their survivability, it performs essential combat engineering tasks such as digging hull defilade fighting positions for guns, tanks, and other battlefield systems. Bulldozing, rough grading, excavating, hauling, and scraping are the primary functions and can also be used as an earth hauler, cargo carrier, or prime mover. With the combination of its cross-country mobility and armored protection, the M9 ACE is capable of both offensive and defensive operations in the forwarded battle area. Welded aluminium is the fundamental structure of the M9. In the rear of the vehicle, the engine, drivetrain, and operator's cabin are laid out, while the front features an 8.7 cubic yard bowl, apron, and dozer blade. Armor is made up of welded aluminium with aramid laminated plates and selected steel. Number 3. M1150 ABV General Dynamics The M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle ABV, nicknamed the Shredder, is a U.S. military mine and explosives clearing vehicle based on the M1 Abrams chassis, equipped with a mine plow and line charges. These tracked combat vehicles were specifically designed to clear paths through minefields, roadside bombs, and improvised explosive devices for troops and other vehicles. The 72-ton, 40-foot, 15-meter-long vehicles are based on the 1,500-horsepower M1 Abrams but equipped with a 50 caliber machine gun and a 15-foot, 4.5-meter-wide front-mounted plow, supported by dirt-gliding metallic skis and loaded with nearly 7,000 pounds 3, of explosives. The ABV provides crew protection and vehicle survivability while having the speed and mobility to keep pace with the maneuver force. Commonality of support, M1A1, is also a significant benefit to the soldier. Number 4. Terrier BAE Systems The British Army has unveiled its reworked BAE Systems Terrier tank, a combat vehicle described as the Swiss Army knife of combat vehicles due to its multitude of tools and features. To help fulfill the challenges of modern warfare, the versatile Terrier tank can perform various tasks such as digging ditches, drilling holes, probing for buried explosives, excavating defensive positions, and removing obstacles such as mines, cars, and logs. The Terrier was designed to provide the British Army with maximum versatility in a fighting environment from a single vehicle, one that could perform several tasks that would usually require a number of vehicles to accomplish, thereby allowing the British Army to minimize its equipment and load and presence of logistics. The 32-ton Terrier can attain speeds of up to 70 km per hour 45 miles per hour, and can be operated remotely from up to 0.62 miles 1 km away. Number 5. K600 – Hyundai Rotem The K600 is a new minefield breaching vehicle from South Korea. It's based on a similar chassis found on the K-1 Armored Recovery Vehicle ARV, in service, which supports the main combat tanks K-1 and K-2 MBTs. 
The new K600 CEV is equipped to facilitate friendly forces movement and support by performing a wide range of battlefield construction and demolition tasks, including removing obstacles and mines from the battlefield, conducting breach operations, and preparing artillery and combat vehicle positions. The K600 CEV has a fighting weight of approximately 62 tons and is based on K1A1 MBT chassis. It is powered by a diesel engine with 1,200 horsepower, allowing it to reach a maximum road speed of up to 60 km per hour. The vehicle is driven by a two-person crew seated on the front left side of the vehicle in a covered cabin, with the driver in front and the commander in the immediate rear roll. Number 6. Wysent 2 FFG The armored engineering vehicle Wysent 2 has been built by FFG of Germany. The goal of this vehicle was to comply with current operational requirements and deployment scenarios in hotspot areas such as Afghanistan and Iraq. The Ysent 2 is the world's most advanced multifunctional vehicle platform. It is based on one of the most popular tracked vehicles in the world, which is the Leopard 2. The Ysent 2 is a complete powerhouse due to its armored recovery vehicle configuration, a crane for loads of up to 32 tons and a 40-ton main winch. With a 1.3 cubed meters capacity bucket, the Ysent 2 has a hinged excavator arm. It has an earth moving capacity of 260 to 300 cubic meters per hour. Loads of up to 4,000 kilograms can be lifted by an excavator arm with a bucket. The Ysent 2 is powered by an MTU MB873KA501 turbocharged diesel engine. It is a 46.7 liter unit, developing 1,500 horsepower. This engine has a 47.6 liter displacement. Number 7. IMR2 Ural Vagonzavod The IMR2 is a Soviet and Russian tracked combat engineering vehicle designed on the chassis of the T-72 main battle tank. As a replacement for the original IMR, the IMR2 combat engineering vehicle was developed. The combat engineering vehicles of the IMR2 series are well protected and can work under fire on the battlefield. The vehicle is equipped with NBC protection systems for automatic fire suppression. For self-defense, this combat engineering vehicle is armed with a 12.7mm machine gun, a V84-liter turbocharged diesel engine generating 840 horsepower powered the original IMR2M, in later production versions the same engine is used. The IMR2 is based on the chassis of the main T-72 combat battle tank. Its predecessor, the original IMR, was based on the T-54, T-55 medium tanks. The arm can reach over 8 meters and has a capacity of 2 tons for payload. The telescopic arm is traversed to the rear in traveling order. Number 8. Kodiak – Rheinmetall Defense The AEV-3 Kodiak is an armored engineering vehicle based on the Leopard 2 tank chassis. Additionally, the AEV-3 Kodiak can be fitted with the new smoke projectile launcher design. The Kodiak AEV-3 has a length of 10.2 meters, a width of 3.54 meters, and a height of 2.3 meters. The vehicle's combat weight is in the military weight range of MLC-70. The vehicle is fitted with a hinged arm excavator, equipped with a quick change tool system to fix other tools, such as a universal gripper, a hydraulic hammer, and a concrete crusher. There is also an expandable bulldozer blade that, when necessary, can be replaced with a mine clearing system. The vehicle's bulldozing capability is 350 meters cubed per hour. The vehicle is equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher with a remote control weapon station, AGL. Number 9. UBIM – Ural Vagonzavod The UBIM is a modern Russian-designed armored vehicle. Multi-purpose armored engineer vehicle stands for its designation. It was planned to meet Russian army requirements. A T-90A main battle tank chassis is the basis for the UBIM. Instead of a turret, it has an armored superstructure. Various path opening and route clearing operations are the primary role of this machine. It can be used for other tanks as well. UBIM is able to dig and fill ditches, clear obstacles, create secure passages through minefields, retrieve stuck tanks, etc. While this machine is very flexible, it is not as good as specialized machines to perform most roles. There is a wide front-mounted dozer blade. It can be used in a straight or a V-shaped configuration. The blade is 4.5 meters high in bulldozer mode. It is used for earth-moving activities, grading, clearing of roads, filling ditches, and removal of obstacles. It can follow terrain contours. The dozed blade has a capacity of about 200-250 meters cubed per hour during earthworking operations. The blade is folded upwards when not in use. 
The UBIM has a 12.7mm heavy machine gun with 1200 rounds of ammunition and a remote controlled weapon station. For self-defense, this weapon is used. It is effective against vehicles that are lightly armored and can engage helicopters as well.